Canada is the second largest source of organic agricultural products to Taiwan. Although the COVID-19 pandemic has greatly affected many projects between Taiwan and Canada, there has been no suspension of agricultural exchanges. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang spoke to Ed Jager, the Director for Trade and Investment at the Canadian Trade Office in Taipei, to find out more about Taiwan and Canada's organic agri-food exchanges. The chef serves up balani, a kind of flatbread filled with potato and drizzled with date chutney. For dessert, there's a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie made with quinoa flour and maple syrup and a blueberry Sicilian coffee. These are meals made by a Taiwanese plant-based and gluten-free Whole Foods restaurant using organic Canadian produce. The flours, they're good for baking, um, as you've seen, we use today. And um, you can make breads, you can make cakes, so it's a good uh, gluten-free substitute for baking. Um, we're a plant-based and gluten-free Whole Foods restaurant. Um, we use maple syrup from Canada and we also use wild blueberries and uh, wild blueberries are very nutritious and high in antioxidants so we really like to incorporate healthy foods into our food. Canada leads the world in the production and sale of soy products. For lentils, it ranks first in the world. Canada is also the second largest source of organic agricultural products to Taiwan. In May 2020, Taiwan and Canada signed an organic equivalence agreement to deepen bilateral trade ties for organic products between the two countries. Canada has a very strong organic foods industry, but only in 2020 were we able to sign a very important arrangement between Taiwan and Canada that recognized each other's uh, uh, organic standards. And so that really made a big difference for us because now it's no longer necessary for uh, an importer of Canadian goods to re-qualify goods as organic in Taiwan because Taiwan accepts the Canadian designation as organic and we do the same. And so it's possible for Taiwanese products and some Taiwanese products are being exported to Canada. Although the pandemic has significantly affected international cooperation between Taiwan and Canada, there has been no suspension of agricultural exchanges. The two countries have made progress in agri-product development, scientific research and innovation in plant-based protein products and foods like rice and legumes leading to growth in sales. Organic products to Taiwan estimated to amount to 1,500 metric tons valued at about six million dollars Canadian. Six million Canadian is roughly five million US. So it's a very significant amount of food that's being imported into Taiwan from Canada. Taiwan is an extremely important market for, for Canada. It's why we in the Canadian Trade Office in Taipei uh, devote so much attention to it and so much resources because we want to see this grow. One Taiwanese organic retail chain has cooperated with Canada for 10 years. The chain has purchased Canadian agricultural products such as wild blueberries, cranberries and wild rice that cannot be grown in Taiwan. They integrated Canadian organic ingredients with traditional ingredients into Taiwanese meals. We have cooperated with Canada for more than 10 years. In the past 10 years, we have successfully found a variety of good products from Canada that meet Taiwan's needs, especially when it comes to organic products. This is because in Canada, the climate is very suitable for growing organic agricultural products. We also hope that these products that cannot be found in Canada can pass our strict customs requirements and be brought to consumers. We also sell Taiwanese organic agricultural products to Canada. In the past 10 years, we have been doing some local processing of these agricultural products in Taiwan so that the products can be diversified, including organic lentils from Canada. Through cooperation with Taiwanese manufacturers, we've made rice flour noodles using beans and rice to make it more nutritious. According to Statistics Canada, Taiwan was the fastest growing country in bilateral trade with Canada among its Asian trading partners in 2021. Taiwan and Canada hope to continue to boost bilateral trade in the years to come. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Gong Zhong Yi in Taipei.